Stonewall is still a relatively new product to many architects, especially in the United States. However, when architects look for innovative solutions to their building design problems, sometimes they have to look outside of their normal comfort box and find different products. One classic example that we've come across several times as consultants has been open jointed cladding systems. There's many advantages to using a cladding with open joints, both aesthetically and from a durability and maintenance point of view. However, when the joints are open, the sunlight can penetrate through those joints and damage polymer-based insulations, any kind of plastic foam behind them. One of the obvious answers to an architect designing an open jointed system would be to use a stone wool insulation system because the stones are highly ultraviolet radiation resistant and therefore it's an obvious solution to use in lieu of foam plastic insulation. This has occurred in numerous situations and allowed for very interesting creative solutions such as cladding systems with perforations in them, not just open joints, and random size openings all without having any impact on the durability or thermal performance of the insulation layer. The new way of building walls, which has long been the best way of building walls, is to use a continuous layer of thermal insulation to the exterior of the structure, the air, and the water control layers. Stone wool is ideally suited for this type of application because it is vapor open and allows any water that gets past the insulation to dry to the exterior very quickly and because it provides a great degree of fire resistance to both the structure and the control layers from any exterior fire. When one uses a low permeance, usually foam plastic or foil faced insulation, you are installing a vapor barrier in your wall assembly. One has to be very careful not to install a double vapor barrier. And so if the insulation layer is a vapor barrier, you can't put another vapor barrier on the inside or you risk trapping moisture within that wall. A solution to this problem could be to actually provide either enough insulation on the outside or to use a vapor open insulation like Stonewall. Different products have different R values at different temperatures. Although regularly R value is reported as a single number, in reality as the temperature changes the R value goes up or down. Insulations that contain various blowing agents, some types of foam plastics, particularly polyisocyanurate, are actually negatively affected by cold temperatures. If we were to use polyisocyanurate as your exterior insulation sheathing at low temperatures, well below zero degrees Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit, the R value can drop well below R5 per inch and often below R4 per inch. In these situations, the thermal performance of that polyisocyanurate insulation will be no better than if one were to use stone wool insulation. This brings up a bunch of actual practical technical details that we need to deal with when specifying insulation. One of the concerns about insulation on the exterior has long been expansion and contraction causing cracks and openings between joints and boards. Stonewall has a very low expansion and contraction coefficient. So as the temperature goes from well below freezing to a blistering hot day, the, the movement of the board is highly constrained. Spray foam insulations, they can work well but they have a less control of the thickness of their insulation. And so one has to worry about larger air spaces to accommodate the dimensional variation of a spray foam product versus a factory built board product. Rain screen or drained and ventilated wall systems always allow some water to penetrate the cladding and come in contact with the insulation. Whether the insulation is made of foam plastic or water repellent stone wool, neither one will be affected by that water. Continuous insulation is of course the way of the future and the way that codes are mandating we install insulation in many commercial and residential applications.